Repair all the tools we need, fix mold and bolt. Pile up the clay and roll out of the level of clay and bolt. Smooth the surface of the clay with your fingers. Dig cross to make a latch. The latch can get the silicone mold much better, and it can also avoid dislocation between two pieces of silicone mold. Brush a layer of detergent on the surface of the mold. Choose the proper type of silicone rubber that depends on the structure, the size, and the application of the mold. So here we choose a Genova 1425 silicone rubber. Take the right amount of liquid silicone rubber according to the size of the mold. Mix it evenly with the curry agent at a ratio of 100 to 2 and pour some silicone rubber on the mold. Then take them to vacuum pump. Vacuum pumping. Vacuum to minus 0.1 MPa, which can exhaust bubbles from the silicone rubber mold. Reduce curry agent's proportion if you don't have vacuum pump machine, which can extend curry time to exhaust bubbles. After vacuum pumping, brush the remaining silicone rubber on the mold. When it is cured, cover gold on it and brush another layer of silicone rubber. Make frame with cutter bolts and strap with rubber band. Pour the plaster into the frame. When the plaster is cured, pour down the frame and polish the plaster outer mold. Remove the clay according to the procedure above to make another piece of silicon rubber mold. For the moment, the operation is finished. The silicon rubber mold can be used into production after 24 hours.